So let's talk uh, some uh, very common uh, relational database um, manage management system. Um, uh, so one of the most common one is a Microsoft SQL Server um, that has been also widely used. Um, there's also a light version. So I mean, the, the simple version uh, of the SQL Server, it mm -hmm. is called Access. Uh, so that is, um, so if you install Office, you will see that Access also is installed. Um, Oracle also has some very great product. Um, my SQL actually is, is one that is um, very, very popular. Uh, MySQL has a free version. Uh, so if you're interested in relational database, you can Google MySQL and uh, MySQL, and also you can try to download that one. Uh, there are also other uh, relational databases. Uh, the one that we are going to use is called host GRE circle. So it, it has a very cute icon, the elephant. Um, this is uh, probably the another uh, uh, most popular free relational database. So those two are free. So MySQL and also PostGIS, um, post GRE SQL. And I have been using, uh, I have used those two for many years, uh, especially the post GRE circle. So it is also also free, um, and you can download that one and install that one on your local computer if you like. Uh, in the, in our class, we will also use Post GI Circle, uh, but we will set up a cloud server by using AWS, so you don't need to install uh, the instance. You don't need to install instance. You just need to install a PG admin that is a GUI uh, graphic user interface uh, for Post GI Circle. Uh, there are also other uh, databases, so animal. So I uh, uh, I didn't include list other uh, databases. Also, okay. So post GRE circle server and also database objects. So uh, those are some some terminologies that you you will hear a lot in post GRE circle, and also actually uh, in in many other relational database servers. So they have the same. Uh, terminologies. Uh, the server. So basically, the server is when you install a, a post GRE SQL instance and you will have a post GRE server that is installed. Um, well, you, you can have multiple servers on one instance um, uh, if you like. Um, uh, and on each single server, you can have uh, multiple databases, okay? Uh, so database is a container of the, the other objects, such as tables. Remember that in relational database, uh, the most important part is tables. So tables is where, uh, where we organize, we store the data. Uh, you can also have views, uh, functions, and also index. Uh, so functions in SQL is just a, a uh, a piece of S in in in, in post GRE circle is just a piece of SQL command. Um, so it's more it's it's like the Python code something so that you define function that can help you to do something uh, more efficient so that you don't need to write the same piece of SQL code. You just save those as a function. Okay, so that is function. Um, schema. Schema is a logic container of the tables. So uh, you can think about like say database as a um, as a hard disk, and on the hard disk you can have multiple folders. Okay, uh, so like uh, it's a logic container. So um, each schema can contain multiple tables, and on one database you can have multiple schemas. Okay. And now we have tables. So tables is just the, the unit that store the data, and you can have multiple tables in one schema. You can have multiple schemas in one database. Uh, views. Um, views is a virtual table. So view is not a materialized, materialized table. So view is actually um, a piece of SQL code, if I may say. So to simplify the queries. So for example, that when you make a query from a table, so that you have the result, 
and you know that you are going to view those results uh, very frequently, so like every single day. Um, and then you can see the current view, current result as a view. Okay, so next time when you want to see the same result, uh, for example, if you want to see that which teacher are teaching which classes, so you have that result. And then next time you don't need to type that SQL comments, you just, okay, so um, call that view and also you will have the same result. Okay, so the view is kind of way that to see uh, the result of the queries, uh, so the, especially those complicated queries. Okay, and index, so database can also have multiple indexes. Uh, so the index, the purpose of the index is that we want to speed up the query. So um, if you think about the index on the book, you know that uh, uh, on the book, index can tell you that, okay, so if you want to find out some words and you just go to index and the index will tell you, okay, so where you can find those words um, directly so that you don't need to go through the entire book. So for example, if you want to find out AI of this book, you just go to index. And also they will tell you, give you a direct link or tell you the number of the page, page number, so you can go to that exact location directly. Uh, so on database, the index is pretty much the similar. So if when you have your tables, okay, and then the index is the added data structure. So it is also stored on your hard disk on your database. So that means, so you have your index, okay? Index will kind of know that, okay, so what record is located in which location. So for example, when you have index uh, built on the teacher's table, um, for example, you built an index on the teacher's name, and next time when you query based on teacher's name, database will go to that record of the teacher name that you are querying directly. So the database does not go through all the records of the tables because uh, database has index. So database is able to find out the name of the teacher directly. Okay, so the index will increase the speed of the query. Uh, then you think, okay, so that's great. So can I create index for each single columns of each single table. Is that necessary? No. So why? First, index is an added data structure. So it, is, it also occupies your, your hard disk. So if you create index for each single column for all the tables, then it will occupy your data storage. So it is kind of waste of your data storage. And most importantly, so there are also a uh, disadvantage that because it is an added uh, data structure, so every time we modify the tables, you need the database need to update uh, the index. So if you delete a record or if you insert a new record, and then the database will make that update on the tables and also on the index. So if you create index, let's say for each single column of that table, and next time when you insert a new record, um, your index will be bigger and bigger, and also all the index will need to be updated. So it will be slower, okay? So you don't need to create index for all the columns. Uh, the best practice is that we create index for the column that we are going, we need to query the most frequently. So based on the query patterns, you have to design the best index that for, uh, uh, for your database, uh, for your project.